Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our Basilius into the Roman Empire campaign in EU4. Tying up loose ends, killing off some enemies, converting some culture, because that's what we do. That's what the Romans did. No, I'm just kidding. I know it's not. Believe me, I was told about 15 to 25,000 times that they integrated and assimilated their cultures and accepted many cultures. But I'm not a role player, and I'm gonna expel them from my lands and that's what i'm gonna do what you gonna do about it let's get that army tradition might not even have needed it but i'll take it regardless let's go ahead and get them up here let's see if we can piece out uh norway that would be nice no not gonna happen i don't Particularly care. I don't want to lose my trader, so I'm not gonna do that. Looks like we're getting really close to this peace deal. As we in annex this dude. Call for pizza is here. Pizza is here, friends. Let's go on up here real quick. Make sure we have this stuff. Ooh, very good. Wait, no, they're taking it back. Well, no wonder. Let's see here. I want this land. This is my land. You can't have this. This is my land, boys. Dibs, I say. I say dibs. That's a 99% siege, by the way. Feels good, man. Okay, very good. So... You're going to take these two provinces as well. That will be what happens. I don't know about Brussels. Is Brussels an estate that I will own? Eh, realistically, I should take like both of those. That's a little tougher to justify though, huh? We'll see. We'll see what we can come up with. This call for peace isn't gonna harm us, really. I mean. Frankfurt is still not sieged down. These guys are almost entirely sieged down. Let's see, if we can peace out Norway, we can get our peace. I don't want his land. Negative 25 reasons. Hmm. It's tough. If I could take Clemson back from them, I would be able to, uh, Push that a little bit. <clears throat> Get our free points. Mm hmm. Let me just indiscriminately trigger some people. Beautiful. That's the juice right there. Oh, let's see here. Uh, Diplo Annex. Years of Separatism. Very good. That's that's it. That's what I wanted. And I think that actually clears up basically all of it, right? I think I gotta wait another month. We are super close to this peace deal. It's crazy how close we are, actually. So I'm gonna need to save up my admin. <clears throat> What's this other policy? National unrest, attrition for enemies? Nah. I'd rather have the extra admin point a month. How much admin is this gonna cost me? Whew, quite a lot. So let's see here. Anybody that I can convert? Nobody. Where's my other army at? There they are. Let's get those guys out, out of there. So I can get my peace deal that I'm looking for. Let's get up to Holland, kill those guys. Oh, they're going into their ship. Okay. How many, is that all their heavies? Nope, not none of their heavies actually. So let's peace out Norway. Have you guys uh, break your alliance with somebody, it's fine. And now, there we go. 
France is out of this land. Let's go ahead and give this land over to him so he'll core it because I don't want to core all this. I'll just keep a couple of the states. And I'll get to work on annexing him in the near future. Mm-hmm. Yep, so this province can definitely go to our client state. And then this whole state can go to him. Wish you could give entire states to clients. That would be cool. There we go. That one there and that one there. And then I will core up all that stuff. Very good. Let's get an army over here to uh, suppress those rebels. Probably going to need a few more than that. Let's get you guys up to Paris. Um, <clears throat> let's actually see if I can buy that uh, charter company. Oh, he's at war. Um, I guess, whatever, man. You can do your thing. I'm not going to help. I really do want a charter company, but uh, looks like I'm at war, so it is what it is. So let's go ahead and suppress our own rebels. Because it looks like... Oh, these are all his rebels. <laughs> he is uh, unstable, to say the least. Get those guys up in Paris. We'll uh, convert the land so it's not as rebellious. Wait, not no more. Where's no more? Is that like... Is that one that we just took? Uh, yeah, we're not gonna be building that there. Not quite yet. Half off trade guy. Sounds good to me. I like free money. Who doesn't? Let's go ahead and just suppress rebels in this new area. No, nah, I take it back. We're going to suppress rebels for him completely. So, none of this is cored up. Oh, wow, that's a lot of rebels. Oh, my gosh, 78,000? Crazy, man. And then, like, the autonomous rebel suppression just isn't going to do anything, so I'm going to have to end up micromanaging it myself. Beautiful. I'm actually going to lose some money for a couple months while we're getting stuff converted. Um, yeah, it's fine. 10% discipline. What's that look like for us then? 139. It's crazy, man. is going quite well. Very good. How's the unrest looking now? Should be pretty good. Mm -hmm. Getting everything converted as well. Who's disloyal? Main, how are you disloyal? Too much dev? 700... <laughs> 25 dev, yeah. Understandable. Let's go ahead and make him loyal, though. As soon as he's getting, like, starting to get a, a large number of things cored up, we can just get to work on that. Just take some time. He's just coring Luxembourg and Hainaut. I suppose we could get to work on annexing him. It's not going to hurt us. Go ahead and enact that and annex him. <clears throat> Yeah, it's definitely going to take some time. The one culture will be pretty close. I'm not actually sure about how uh, how close that's going to actually be. <clears throat> so I just need a couple provinces from Lorraine. This one province from Savoy. 
Oh, cool. Well, we can do this right now then. That would be perfect. We're a professional army, I, I assure you. Base text and a bruisey. We just need to get him out. It's not a... Cool. So, Bomanis didn't join. So, as soon as we get out of this, we'll probably be able to buy that charter company. And so, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, did they just immediately join the coalition? No, we don't have a coalition. Hey, uh, anybody who doesn't know this, if you have a province that is cored, and part of a trade company in an oversea, I think in India specifically, <clears throat> you will get a decision to create a trade company. Alsace wants to, they, they do want some smoke, so they're gonna get it. No questions asked. Let's go ahead and get you guys up there. So I'm going to full annex Lorraine and Savoy, and I'll just core it up myself. And that way, whenever I annex main, it will go way quicker. So he's clearly struggling to get everything... Um, <clears throat> he's clearly struggling to get it all set up. Alright, well at least he's coring up that stuff. I can core up the extras. I mean, we're super far ahead on admin, so I don't mind doing it. It's just, I would rather not... Some Catholic rebels? We're not gonna be having that. Uh uh uh. Not in my um beautiful. Forgot to core up some stuff from before, so you'll have that. Let's get you guys over here to Paris. Let's go ahead and uh yeah, this is fine. guys up here beautiful and suppress rebels busy building a furnace nope we're gonna court instead and let's suppress rebels for our dude over here which seems like he's not having any issues let's core up a bunch of extra stuff and let's culture convert everything else. Getting that English culture converted. That's the good stuff right there. As a... Uh, the major thing is that the years of separatism is ticking away at it, which is really good. So we come we have firmly have Gaul and a lot of people are like, oh the Rhine River. Maybe, we'll see. We will see. This campaign has been fun, but it is long since it is long past its prime. So we will uh finish it out, but uh no promises on anything fancy happening. Infantry shock, improved flanking range. Interesting. Let's make sure we're culture converting everything we can. Are we focusing on Diplo? We certainly are. So annexing main is going to slow that down, right? I knew that. So he's coring in most of this up. We should be good. We might end up needing to core up a few provinces, but it's fine. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Eighty-one percent of our country is Greek. 
<laughs> we'll have at least of our stated provinces. Speed 5 simulator. Oldenburg has collapsed. How the mighty have fallen. Let's keep on culture converting. Every province that we possibly can culture convert is being converted right now. Look at that. How long until this one is, actually? Alright, it's on its way. How many years of separatism do they have here? Is that 10? 10 years of separatism? And then next month we can get these tech. Beautiful. Basically, all of Britain is being converted right now. <laughs> so nice. This one, this little chunk over here is going to be the tough one, but, uh, because this is pretty high dev. But we'll see. I could Diplo Bank, <clears throat> but I'm not going to do that. I don't care nearly enough to do that. Let's go ahead and get a Diplo Rep guy so we can get this annexation done fast faster. All right, let's uh, let's do that charter company. Oh yeah, literally any culture or any comp one, I don't care. See, free merchant, global trade power, easy peasy. And so, what I could do, yeah, I might as well. Let's just collect here. Check this out. That is a free thirty-four ducats a month for free. It'll pay off what I pay. I paid like five hundred for that province, so. So let's see here. I suppose. We don't have a truce with this guy, so we might as well attack him. And we can get Alsace in there so we can white piece Alsace. So let's go ahead and get to work. Might as well take everything west of the Rhine if we can. We'll culture convert as much as we possibly can. That'll be the tough part, but uh, I don't think they have that much of an army. Yeah, we're cool. And then I'm just gonna take land from the from the nobility. Easy peasy. What's that? What do they have? Oh my gosh, seven percent. Uh, it might be a little tougher than I thought. Let's see here. Definitely need to make them mad to get all this land, I reckon. Oh, maybe not. No, we're totally good. Can I do it? Really? I need to take away... Is that really it? I can't take this one away. Till next year. Hmm. Even then, they'll be at 100%. That's crazy. I wonder... I don't see a single nobility province aside from this one. That is wild. Okay, let's go ahead and give them a couple of these provinces over here, though. Same with, like, Jorvik. You can go directly to the Burgos. And then we can... Oh, we're at war. But, uh... Let's go ahead and get you guys grouped up over here. I don't think we have a flagship anymore. So it's not actually worth to, uh... It's only worth to have these guys protecting trade. So we'll have them in the English Channel. And then we'll have the rest of them go home for now. We'll see if we can fight that off. So they annexed Frankfurt, interesting. 
I just want to piece these white piece these guys. Get my out uh, my guys going in, winning fights for me. White piece. I don't actually know who they're allied to. Nobody I care about. So I'm gonna take these these provinces over here. This is what I want right here. And then the rest can just go to um Brandenburg or Prussia or Yeah, Prussia. Now let's get you guys over here to Brunswick. No, you guys over there. There we go. Yeah, so this is what I think is the Rhine. I think this is the Rhine River. Here, the big guy here. And then goes down this way into Lake Constance. But I might be wrong. Well, I, I guess it would start up here and it would loop back that way. Flowing into the river, or into the ocean. That would make much more sense. So, then we'll full annex him. Um... I can even give Prussia as much of that land as I want to. <clears throat> I think this sounds fair. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. All right, cool. So Prussia will get... Let's also make sure we take this province. We still can't do that. Prussia will... Um, let me see here. Where's the button for this? Prussia will be granted Rostock, Wismar, Brunswick, uh, Vogtland, Bamberg, Nuremberg. <laughs> I'm like pur purposely pronouncing it with an accent, so. Cassel, uh, Potter, or oh, he's a Pete. That one was fallen. Nassau, Essen. Frankfurt. Dang it. All right, well, I'm not going to core up those two. Frankfurt and Mainz will go to him, but he'll just have to core it first. So let's have you guys. Is there any grasslands in Würzburg? There is. So let's get you guys right there. Have you guys put down rebels for him? Which he will inevitably have. Um, Brandenburg has a truce for quite a while. Let's get you guys over here. Go ahead and uh, do we want a specific icon? Not particularly. Guess I'll just stick with what we know. Ultra conversion is almost done over here. Can we consecrate these metropolitans? It's not all English, or it's not all... Not all Greek yet, so no, we cannot. A few of them. There we go. Patriarch Authority is already maxed. Beautiful. Now let's get you up there. It's fine. So Prussia is getting pretty large as well. And we're about halfway done annexing this guy, which is really good. So, let's see what we need to core up. I need to core up everything except for mines and Frankfurt. That will go to Prussia and the rest is all mine. Even though it messes up my states. Feels bad, man. Um, so let's see here. When can I... There we go. Is that going to finish that off or are they still going to have too much? So how do I lower this? Because this is, this is really annoying. 
that's really still gonna keep going up. Yep, it is. Um, let's see here. Does deving up another province? So like this is gonna cost me fifty six. Does that lower their? Does it? It's hard to say. They have literally zero provinces. Pretty sure they have zero provinces in my entire country. Yeah. Unless I'm just not seeing it. The nobility have zero provinces. And I do not know how to get this to go away. Trade efficiency, nah, tax modifier, and global trade power are all going to go down by a lot, which is going to make me mad, but I guess it doesn't actually matter that much because we're stupid rich, but it's still annoying. Nonetheless, it's annoying. So let's see here. Are you corn all this, brother? Oh, he's corn all that right now. Yeah, there's nothing much I can do about it. So how do I get it away? They just have to have less influence than 60%, which is gonna just be a time thing. So that's fine. We're just losing a bunch of money for free. So this is all his culture, so he's gonna core it up super fast. Alright, so let's give him a couple of these provinces. Uh, Prussia... We'll take Mines and Frankfurt. There we go. Beautiful. Cool. That'll do it for this one. Hope you guys are enjoying. I think the next one may actually be the last episode. Um, other than some culture conversion, we are pretty much done with our conquests. There's a lot of culture conversion to be done still, but... Uh, I wouldn't obviously make you guys sit and wait for that. I would give you guys an update at a later time when I were to finish this. But uh, it's looking quite good. I am quite excited about it, and I hope you guys are too. Don't forget to show your support. Leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to check out the Discord or support me on Patreon, links are in the description down below. As always, leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking about the campaign. And if you're excited for This is Persia. Um, like I said, I think we might start at like Arbidil or somebody like that. We'll see. I don't know exactly what the plan is, but it's going to be a fun one. It's going to be the replacement for this Byzantium campaign. Spain is a fun one, but it doesn't have the interest that I really am looking for for a twice daily channel. So twice daily video. I want to make upwards of three videos a day. So I want to make sure that what we're doing is what you guys want to see. You know, obviously I want to provide content that people want to watch. So with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoe, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to Bloodbound92, Valentel, CWG, Dutch Terror, J Clampett, Yudaldo, Classified for Life, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Palmer, Jonathan Crane, Airborne Animal, and all my other awesome supporters on Patreon. I appreciate you guys. Check out the two series linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.